I think we've all had, I think we've all had at least one broken heart in our lives. Am I right? But move on forward. There's always something better around the corner, you know? That's what I always say. And that's why I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> If you didn't already notice, this building is really freaking tall. Good afternoon, you guys. Um, so today I'm in Courtenay, British Columbia. And for those who don't know, Courtenay is located on Vancouver Island. It's about a two hour ferry ride from uh, the mainland. It's supposed to take me five hours to get here, but total with the ferry ride and traffic and everything else, it ended up taking me close to about eight or nine hours to get here. So I really hope you enjoy this. It's an abandoned sawmill. Um, it was built in 1912. They originally built it to cut wood for um, the locking company. There's been some controversy, um, however, with the reason behind them building the sawmill and why it shut down so suddenly. The sawmill was shut down during the Depression. They actually never cut one single piece of wood here at the sawmill. It seemed like it was all kind of like a ruse just to get money from the government. So, I don't know, it's kind of a very interesting history. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go take a look, see what else we can see. So yeah, um, as you can already tell, this place is massive. It's a huge building still here in the woods. It is very interesting that, um, not you know, I'm not 100% sure if that's true about them building this just to get money and they really didn't actually use it. But either way, it's just a very interesting piece of history, you know, that's still here in the woods. you guys but this place is just so so beautiful in its own way um, I don't know what it is about abandoned places it just really really I don't know, hits home with me it's you know it's just kind of calming and just seeing all the brush coming through the trees coming through the walls and everything it's I don't know it's just interesting I don't know if you guys think this feel the same way or not, but yeah, it's just kind of an, it's an eerie calmness. Life is beautiful. I would have to agree with that saying. Sometimes in life you don't always get what you want and sometimes you feel like, you know, things aren't really going your way or stuff like that, you know, just 
you know, just keep on trekking through it, you know. I, I honestly believe that there's always a reason for everything. Appreciate what you have and appreciate the nature and everything around you because, you know, just like this building is, is almost gone, you know, we will be too someday, you know. And go out and explore, go do things, you know. Um, if it wasn't for starting this channel, I probably wouldn't have gotten out and done as many things as I have already. Check it out you guys, I found this crazy hole that goes underneath the building here. Not sure if this was originally like the basement or something to the place or what, but it's really creepy down there. Yeah, check it out, like we're literally in the woods here. Check out the, some, some of the windows are still halfway in place here. It's crazy. You know, this, this place was built over 100 years ago. And some of the windows are still intact. It really blows, blows my mind. And then we have these huge concrete slabs, which I'm not sure if this is part of the original like wall or foundation or... Yeah, so like I said, it, it took me a long time to get here, eight or nine hours, but I just, it's so nice to finally be here. Like I've heard so much about this place. It's just kind of a unique, you know, beautiful building that's been here for a long, long, long time. By the way, guys, this little miniature building here inside the big building, it's a lot higher up than it looks like. And, it, and that's why it took me a long time to, to actually climb up it. I had to jump up and get to it, as you just saw. You know, I don't have the worst of hops, but I don't have the best of hops either, so. Probably about eight feet tall or something. And there's really no way to get on top of it unless you jump up the hole in the middle of it like I did. <laughs> Red and blue, it's almost like America or 4th of July colors. There's no white, but. 
Check out these little penguins, you guys. Kind of cool. It's like a normal penguin. This one's like a deranged, I'm gonna eat you, penguin. <laughs> I keep seeing a bunch of this like cord or string or whatever. Not sure what that was used for or if someone just threw it up there now. Looks like someone had a broken heart. That looked like a bear. Not even kidding. Just a quick glance, turned around, I saw a black thing. I almost pissed myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you haven't seen my other video, I really did get have an encounter with a bear. And that was scary. And I was like, oh great, here's another potential bear. <laughs> oh man, alive. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thanks again for watching. Um, I really hope you did uh, appreciate it as much as I have. Um, and again, this was the headquarters mill up in Courtenay, BC. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Coming up, I have a few abandoned videos already in the works that I'm editing. And this one, obviously today, don't be shy to leave a comment down below, you know, even just to say hi or that you like the video or anything, you know? It's such a nice place. So yeah, feel free to comment below if you want to come with me next time. I might come back here soon. All right.